We're rolling. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. Welcome back to Munich. We are here for the High Rocks on the weekend. It's Friday afternoon. We've just had an all day travel from Salzgitter on the train. And uh, we're staying with my mother at the Novotel, which is just across the road from the exhibit. Oh, I think it's called that Munch and Messi, which is the exhibition ground. So, which is where Hyrox takes place tomorrow. So, um. Thoughts, feelings, emotions. Go. Thoughts right now is getting all my underlying underlying work done before tomorrow which is very important which is all my programming for my athletes that I haven't finished for next week so getting that done thoroughly so to be honest I haven't even thought about IROX <laughs> tomorrow no that's a joke um, feeling very very good reunited as well we are well. yes Welcome to uh, the highlight of my trip. M the highlight of my trip as well. The it is of my seeing life. my little boy. Yeah. It's hard to fit both your heads in the frame because oh, it's so different. <laughs> <laughs> Mum's got her hokers on, if you can see. Hocker. Yeah. Isn't it hokers? I've got my, um, what have you got? My crocs. My They're crocs. a bit loserish. Uh, yeah. That's exactly yes. what it is. We are lost. I wouldn't say we're lost. Or do you we're think we're sightseeing? Um, yeah, we're sightseeing, having a bit of a walkie. It's quite nice here. Uh, yeah. It's quite nice. But we're going to be late to see um, Kassan, one of my athletes, but that's all good. We'll see him on the ski erg. See you on the ski erg, Prass. Yeah, big boy. Is he going to be wearing a JK Heartbridge shirt? I hope so. However, I think he was one of the guys that voted um, no shirt, racing in no shirt. So. Hopefully we see his bare skin. <laughs> I just know that the 60 minutes, or let's just say hopefully a little bit less, is going to be so fucking painful and that's the only thing that I'm fucking nervous for right now. <clears throat> Pushing yourself to the limits. Mm. I'd love to know if everyone else is like the same like that. And you can never know, like. I just think you have a mindset that's like really, um, like you're prepared to just like hurt so much. Yeah, but you say that and you're like, okay, well, like. We, you'll never know if someone else has uh, got the same mindset. Like, there's no way you can find that out. Like, yes. actually purely knowing if someone has the same mindset of purely putting up with pain. Yeah. Um. We've um, found out that High Rocks Germany is not live streaming the pro events. James says it's because they're trying to market to the wider High Rocks as a business is trying to market to a wider audience by saying it's not just all about the pros, it's for the everyday athletes. So they don't want to just focus on the pro race, which I get to a certain degree, but then it's like everyone just wants to watch the pro race, not the opens. But anyway, so I think I'm going to live stream off James's account. See how that goes. I don't know why that makes me so nervous. 
I think, do you know why? Because I know how brutal people are in the comments. But you're not I read the that. I, I literally read the comments when I'm on a live stream and they're like, oh my God, show this person, show this person. But then again, it's like, it's on your account. So they're expected, like, I'm only going to show you. And then I'm nervous about getting a spot. I'm such a loser. These are the things that consume my day. Well, anyway, stay tuned. 2, 2.20 a.m. Brisbane time. Mum and Dad, see you there. Ready to rumble? I probably should have had a two-week taper 
due to the excessive running volume that I've been doing. Um, more so over the six week Europe trip, like I was doing. Um, you did so many half marathons. Yeah, I, I was just running long, like just running long because I wanted to and hence, and wanted to, but also knowing that that's going to help my um, high ups performances. It benefited you, but also yeah. in terms, you just should have tapered for longer. Yeah, exactly. Mindset. But and rested your body. Like, to kind of sum up the race, but then I'll go into it, that is the most, like, positive thing about it. I felt sluggish. I felt uh, very heavy, heavy-legged. Like, I didn't have a, a, um, I didn't have a spring in my, my run like I, like I, tr like I thought I did in, in the Sydney race. And I still pulled off a 5901. And that's the most positive thing about the race. Um, the race unfolded where like I was going out like a border gate like I normally do and that's my philosophy like I'll always do that but um, not knowing that um, Thomas from Czech Republic um, was going to hang on and, and, and not only hang on but overtake me very early and um, he was leading the race for 80% of it wasn't it? He was leading the race you from the him, skier yeah. till the lunges and um, yeah. not only lead, leading the race but um, Obviously, was able to, to continuously uh, beat my stations more so than anything by about five to ten seconds from the skier to the lunges. Hence, why going into the lunges, he was forty seconds in front of me. But mentally, like just you know, I, I don't think I've even explained to you, Georgie. But after the burpees, I told myself, "All right, James, like you've got two options here. You've got uh, the option to kind of like." Uh, mentally wave the flag, put, pull out the white flag and say, you know what, I'm actually okay with second, or, and I'm laughing because like, I still remember the moment, I literally just ran past mum after the burpees on my second lap, and the moment was like, sorry to swear, but I'm just like, nah, fuck this, I'm not, I'm, I'm not happy with second. And that was the moment where, I don't know if you can see in the splits, but I think from that moment on, which was the run after the burpees, I ultimately was continuously beating him by about two or three seconds. Um, off the rower, I felt, as I always say, the, the and Georgie said it to me very aggressively. During um, the race, yeah. During the race, when she was filming, um, the race starts now. And that's how I felt, and going into the farmer's carry, um, and then ultimately, for those of you who watch, he was 41 seconds in front of me, uh, moving into the, the lunges, and then I ended up 14 seconds in front of him, in front of him after Leaving. the lunges. Yeah. And like, I'm like to, to, to sum this up again, it, it's it's a choice that I made. I honestly could have easily just been like, you know what? Nah, cool second place is worth it that's great but i'm it's, so proud that i didn't um it's that mental resilience i think that um you can differentiate between different athletes like yeah like some people would have given up at that point because to be fair like watching it you were a fair distance behind him and it was only increasing like the eat after each station um he was getting more and more gap like more and more in front of you. And I actually thought to myself, I was like, surely this guy has not just come out of nowhere and is gonna beat James. But it was funny, like watching James on the lunges, and I've said this to him, you could see this determination in his eyes. And obviously that was after he had just realized that he was just gonna like give it his all to overtake this guy. And this determination in his eyes to overtake this Thomas guy. And he just like nothing, stopped him and you would ju you just saw James slowly catch up to him and then bypass him and it was like honestly for me being a spectator like the most exciting thing ever but yeah it's like the mental resilience like where some people have it some people don't and I guess that's what can sometimes win you the races. It was just a it was just an amazing weekend and it kind of like I don't know it kind of like really got me going 
due to the fact that it was the first high rocks race in Germany for the year and we are here based in Germany for the year so welcome to Germany baby like we are here you've we're ready to run it you've cemented yourself in the Dutch yeah section. is I Germany have. Dutch it is but we have I've got no idea how to say one word of Dutch yeah. that yeah. was the summary and I apologize for not getting any clips but I was preoccupied we are here in uh, Hull I'm not sure if that's the pronunciation Germany we are doing a coffee critic together hey uh, hang on, oh, hang oh, on. Yeah. someone's not finished <laughs> oh, I want a drink we are at a coffee shop in Hull uh, here we go, Mum. Yes, Jay. You take a sip okay. and you rate you, and then you rate it out. I know, I've seen your videos. Three, two, one. Strong though. Three? No. Why is that funny? <laughs> because you always rate it like eight or nine. It's too strong for me. Bitter. Uh, after taste not so good. Um, and to be honest, the experience wasn't that great. Right. No. Because we got Nine. Coffee but uh, it's not bad coffee. I'll, I'll give it a six and a half out of ten. Mum. See you later. What's Bye. It? <laughs> I, I give it now. <laughs> Nine point five. Are you okay? <laughs> now I'm so tired. Yeah. I'm so tired as well. I feel drunk. <laughs> <laughs>